Good morning and welcome to Timeline. I'm Bree. And I'm Laurel. The MBU Department of Theater's production of The Crucible opens tonight in the Pillsbury Chapel at 7.30. Grab a seat on the stage and view the performance from a close-up view. Additional performances will be held Friday and Saturday night with a Sunday matinee. Students with an IED can get in for just $2.50 and tickets are still available. Despite the snow, job seekers packed the Maybe Great Hall for the annual MBU Education Job Fair Tuesday. Compared to previous years, finding a place to park was easier thanks to overflow parking. Keep an eye out for packed parking lots again Monday, February 20th for Spartan Preview Day. The event will host prospective students and their families as they get their first look at the campus. On the other hand, if you come to school Wednesday, expect available spots and empty classrooms as day classes will be canceled during assessment day. If you've been contacted to take the exam, make sure to sign up in the Academic Success Center. If you're stressing over next week's midterms, the Academic Success Center also offers free tutoring. Interested in free campus housing next fall? That's one of the perks of being a resident assistant. Applications are due to Marie Tudor by February 29th. Keep following Timeline and Timeline Online for more information. With student activities, here's Amanda. Thanks, Laurel. Good morning, Spartans. Our spring break trip to Gulf Shores is filling up quickly. We're staying right on the beach March 9th through the 14th. The $135 cost includes breakfast each day, lodging, and transportation. Want to shot the grand prize for this year's talent show? Audition to showcase your talent February 28th, 29th, and March 1st from 3 to 6 p.m. Sign up at the Student Activities Office to claim your spot. The date of the talent show is Monday, March 26th, to kick off Spring Fling Week, so make sure you're free. For student activities, I'm Amanda. Catch you on the flip side. Thanks, Amanda. With sports, here's Abel. Thanks, Bree. Hey, Spartans. The MBU cheerleading squad took first place in the NAIA Invitational at William Penn University. The win helped them secure a silver bid to Nationals in Daytona Beach, Florida. Keep up the good work, ladies. The MBU baseball team opened up its season with a split doubleheader against preseason ranked number one Oklahoma City University. Starting pitcher Bunk Coronado was named the American Midwest Conference Pitcher of the Week. He posted nine strikeouts in four and two thirds innings of no hit baseball. Timeline Sports would also like to congratulate head baseball coach Eddie Oswald for being named Associate Director of Athletics. This week's Game of the Week showcases the women's basketball team versus Harris Stoll State University. Timeline's own Donovan Correll has the report. Thanks, Abel. I'm here at the Alton Lacey Gym after a striking victory of 56-54 against Harris Stowe University. The Missouri Baptist Spartan women did a very good job of keeping up with them today. The Missouri Baptist women's basketball team put a stop to their 11-game losing streak with a victory against Harris Stowe in their first conference win. Lauren Taylor was the top scoring woman for the team with 11 points in the game. Within the last few seconds of the game, Missouri Baptist made a pivotal play leading them to their victory over Harris Stowe. So what were your thoughts on the game? Um, it was a great team win for us. We all uh, played hard and worked together and came out with a big win. So what would you want to see more improvement on? Um, more ball movement. Uh, we moved the ball really well today, but um, still always room for improvement. And um, picking up our first conference win, we just want to build on this and then just continue and just keep the ball rolling. Men's basketball forward Desmond Hickman was named American Midwest Conference Player of the Week. The junior put together 28 points in his performance against Harristol State University last Thursday. Volleyball players Robert Esser and Danny Trailer are the NAI Setter and Libero of the Week. Esser wins the award for the first time this year. His 11 assists per set lead the country. Junior Danny Trailer wins the award for the fourth time this year and had an excellent defensive performance against St. Ambrose last week. Make sure to catch the game tonight at 7 in the Sports and Recreation Complex against number 4 Missouri Valley College. Here are the results from last week's games. Try and make it out to one of these upcoming games.
with sports, I'm Abel. Thanks, Abel. For Timeline, I'm Bree. And I'm Laurel. Keep it classy, MBU. Thank <laughs> you.